I'm Liam McGowan Hare. I'm here to help you get to know Model Builder as part of your Salesforce AI specialist certification. Model Builder helps teams build custom AI models with Data Cloud. It brings existing predictive models to the Einstein One platform and connects their LLMs to the Einstein Trust Layer, all while managing these models from a unified control plane. As businesses race forward with predictive and generative AI investments, Model Builder helps companies achieve faster return on investment. By connecting and acting on existing machine learning models and LLMs, Model Builder empowers teams that don't have a data scientist to create their own no-code predictive models. Let's take a tour and see how easy it is to connect your models or create one from scratch. Then we'll explore the Model Builder playground and see how to modify a model. Let's dive in. Einstein Studio is accessible through the app launcher. Search for it, select it, and it will open Einstein Studio in a new tab. We see tabs for predictive models and foundation models. Let's create and add a model before experimenting with the model playground. We'll start with predictive models and select new. Now we see four options. You can create a model from scratch with just a few clicks or bring in other models to Salesforce using API. These are SageMaker, Vertex AI, and Databricks. You can learn more about these in Trailhead, but for now, let's just get oriented. Select the back arrow to return to Einstein Studio. Let's look at the Foundation Models tab. You'll see a list of all open AI models and options to configure a new model to bring your own LLM. We'll go to Add Foundation Model. Here you can connect to an Azure OpenAI model or an OpenAI model. Let's say that your team created a custom OpenAI model. Enter the endpoint information, including the key, then connect. Once a model is enabled, it will appear in your channels and be available for use. Note that in the list of foundation models, there is a one in the number of models column, indicating that there is one of each of these models. Let's create a variation of a foundation model and see how that playground works. This is the model playground where we can test and compare different models. It should look familiar, just like Prompt Builder, right? The difference between the two is that Prompt Builder is grounded in Salesforce data and Model Builder is not. So I'll instruct it to write a haiku about Coral Clouds, our customer data, and Salesforce. I'll choose OpenAI GPT-4 as the model to use and generate the haiku. Lovely, that's my haiku about the resort. We can also change the hyperparameters to any model and save it as a model variation. I'll do that now for this new request for a longer poem. Using advanced settings, I'll tell it to increase the use of unique words in the response. I like the level of detail in the response, so I'll save this configuration. To do that, I just name it and create it. Back in our list of foundation models, note that there are two of the OpenAI GPT-4 models. To see them, I'll use the menu. And there is our variation of the OpenAI GPT-4 model. If I select Create Prompt Template, this opens up a window to create a new prompt template from the Model Builder, where I can test this new model variation with grounded data. Model Builder will empower you and your team to effectively apply AI. 
It's a powerful no-code tool that allows for easy integration of your company data with preferred AI models from leading predictive or generative AI services. Its flexibility gives your organization the power to choose the best tools for your needs, leaving us with the important task of safeguarding your data with our trust layer. To learn more, check out the other videos in this series, search for topics in Salesforce help, or join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.